Welcome back, everybody. Hope you had a wonderful holiday season. So, you know, I was uh, traveling for Christmas and I was on an airplane, so I, I didn't really have any room to carry large gifts. But uh, this was sent to my home by my mother and uh, I started to unwrap it. I had no idea what it was. And uh, as soon as I saw that it was something fun Halloween related, I thought I should share that with you and we can take a look at it together. So let me go ahead and finish unwrapping this fun box here. And let's take a look. Now, it doesn't really say on the box what it is, but when we go ahead and open it up, whoops, I can see actually from the label that it is from Colby Collectibles in Olala, Washington. Not exactly sure where that is, but uh, we have a nice styrofoam packaged box here. Pull it out, oh, okay. All right, so on one side, we have some sort of certificate and imported shipping information enclosed. Let's just go ahead and pull this off. All right, so inside we have a certificate of authenticity. It is hereby certified that this collectible is an authentic original in the limited edition of Disney's Tim Burton, The Nightmare Before Christmas Cuckoo Clock. It is uh, produced to the highest quality and artistic standards of the Bradford Exchange in a limited edition presentation restricted to a maximum of 295 casting days. All right, and it's copyright Disney, copyright 2013. This says it is limited edition number F1188. So let's go ahead and, oh, before I open it up, there are some instructions in here. Might need those here in a minute, but let's go ahead and open it. All right. Look at that. I love that it is very detailed and gothic looking and let's go ahead and pull it out Ooh. all right we can see it's got some stuff hanging down i guess because it is a cuckoo clock let's go ahead sit that down there for a second and see what else is in the box all right packing material some sort of pendulum and i think that is it all right let's put that down there for the moment now i've got styrofoam all over the place Go ahead and pull off some of the masking tape and this protective wrapping so that we can get a better look. Okay, so there we go. On the back, it says, Disney's in the Nightmare Before Christmas, Cuckoo Clock. Please use three AAA batteries to operate the product. So let me go ahead and pull some batteries. But first, let's see what happens when we open up this back section. We have a piece of styrofoam. Okay, please remove protective sticker. All right, go ahead and do that. Because that is protecting that pendulum in there, it looks like. There's some sort of... Oh, that's for the battery, I guess. Okay, let's see here. Um, hmm. I guess it's time to read the directions. Step one, do not remove the protective plastic cover until all steps have been completed. Well, oops, it is in the giant mess of stuff on my floor somewhere. I tried looking for it a second ago, couldn't find it. Let's just try and be extra careful. Remove the clock from the packaging and place it on a clean, smooth surface as not to scratch it. Remove the back door while well, we've done that. Remove the sticker on the pendulum arm, done. Hook the pendulum in the clock as shown. See, it'd be nice if there was some way to like sit this upright because there's not really a good way to put it down. All right, so let's go ahead and open up this pendulum. Whoa. Pendulum bends very easily, so be very careful when opening it. All right. Please remove this portion. There's a film, a protective film on the front. Okay. Peel this off. All right. 
there we go. We have a nice little pendulum piece, which apparently is going to hook. Now, as I was picking it up now, I've already broken it. Little cat's tail is super delicate and it has snapped off. I mean like super delicate. So we'll just super glue that back on in a minute. All right, sorry mom, I try, I'm trying to be careful, but there's just no real good easy way to grab this. All right, we are going to hook the pendulum up from the bottom on to that. All right, so that step is done. Okay, I've gone ahead and put the three AAA batteries in the back. There's also a slot in here for a AA battery. I'm gonna go ahead and put that in now. So the instructions do say that the little weights hanging at the bottom are just merely decorative and not meant to actually wind the clock, which is kind of a shame because that would have made it a lot easier than dealing with the batteries. All right, so flipping it back to the back again, it's just like a you know a normal wall clock. You can twist the, the knob here to set the time which is 6.15 right now. So let's just go ahead and... Uh-oh, I can hear it playing music. Okay, so it made some sound. <laughs> All right, I don't think the pendulum is going. Um, I might have put in some deadish batteries though. So there is a little button on the side here. You can press it in one direction to have it just do um, lights and sound at the top of the hour um, or no lights or sound. So you can use it just as a clock. And the third one is just lights. You can kind of see he's lighting up a little bit. And then there is a volume control button as well. So let me get this hung up and let's take a closer look. Starting with Jack and Sally here, as you can see, they are very well detailed. Sally with her little rose and dress. Shoes, some of that styrofoam gets everywhere, it's hard to get off. At the top of the clock here, nice skull motif, very ornamental. There are, is the cuckoo clock door. We'll take a look at that when it opens in a few. As we make our way down the clock, you can see just lots of ornamentation. Look at all the swirling green. It's a spider web in the middle of that clock. The hands of which look like a bat. As we move down, we've got some ghosts and some pumpkins. Kitty, I haven't had a chance yet to fix her tail. More ghosts and pumpkins on the side. And here you do have the buttons you can press. You've got your volume control as well as the on off. We'll go ahead and turn it on so we can take a look at it with the lights. As we move down, you've got lock, shock, and barrel here at the bottom. And the pendulum moves quite nicely. It does need a nice fresh battery in it to make it work as well as those lights. All right, so what do you think? So I've got it up on the wall. I don't, I'm not sure that's exactly where I'm gonna leave it. I just knew I already had a picture hook in there. You're supposed to actually anchor it into the wall or, or hang it onto a stud because it does have a substantial weight to it. So. Again, not sure if I'm gonna leave it there, but you know it does work so well here in my study. And it would work well, I guess, like in a kid's room too as well, because the lights on it make a nice night light. It's a little shame it doesn't have a timer. A timer would make that um, a little bit more convenient, but uh, otherwise, you know, you just turn it on and off. Don't know how long those batteries are gonna last though. I do like the uh, pendulum. It does require a fresh battery when I started trying to play with it in the beginning. I think I was using an old battery just didn't seem to be working. Um, but once it's going, you can hear that rhythmic tick, tick, tick. So if you like that, um, it certainly can help you fall asleep probably. Um, but the only thing I guess we haven't seen yet is the cuckoo. I mean, it does actually have a cuckoo on the clock. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that and you'll get to see that in action. 
But um, other than that, let me know. What do you think? Do you um, or did you get any Halloween fun items or Nightmare Before Christmas items for your holidays? I'm certainly uh, interested in hearing all about them. So let me know in the comments below, and uh, that'll do it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Happy haunting.